Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cards and Coffee. And on today's episode of Reloaded, we're gonna be of course opening two more sets. This week we're gonna be opening Ancient Prophecy and Stardust Overdrive. Both of these sets have some really good cards. Nothing that's gonna warp the meta, but there is a lot of key cards for future decks once we move on from what we're playing now. Last week I brought the SEMO special Black Wings. Man, they were so strong. It didn't even really look like Ricardo had any tempo at any time. Now, not only is there more Blackwing support, but there's also some just really cool support for other decks. Stuff like Preparation of Rights, Swap Frog for the Frog Engine, Quick Draw and Level Eater, which are really amazing cards that I know Ricardo is definitely going to be gunning for. Even Ancient Fairy Dragon comes out this week. Fishborg Blaster makes its debut. I don't know if we can abuse it with the card pool we have, but maybe in the future we can start using it. So again, there's just so many different cards for different decks that would be really great to get a hold of this week. Whether or not we play it, we'll see. But I have a feeling either way, no matter how this opening goes this week, there's going to be a lot of goodies to add to whatever deck we decide to play. We're going to go spin our wheels, but first, as always, guys, please go grab yourself a cup of coffee or something. That way you guys can sit down and tune in. Thanks, guys. Well, Dark Strife Fighter remind us why it's ratted. I can't believe we banned Chaos Emperor Dragon for this, but it is what it is. Uh, I'm going to spin the wheel here twice, once for Crimson Crisis, once for Raging Battle. When it comes to Crimson Crisis, I'm not really sure what benefits me the most. I mean, ideally, Starfish Assault would be cool. I don't think I have enough Blackwings to justify doing any more Blackwing stuff, but uh, looks like I'm going to be getting a common. Well, not a lot of options here, but I think I gotta go with Sirocco. Um, I already got two Bora. Unfortunately, I still have the one Gale, so Blackwing still aren't really viable for me the way that they are for Justin, but I think I'll have to make do with what we have here. So we're adding a second circle to the lineup, bringing me to a grand total of two. Next up, we got Raging Battle, and ideally, if I can walk out of here with the Power Tool Dragon, I think that would be the way to go. And it looks like I'm gonna be getting a rare, which is unfortunate. One. Well, to continue the, the Blackwing package that I have, I think we have to go with Blizzard of the Far North, um, or rather Blizzard of the Far North. Um, you know, again, I'm not sure Blackwings are my strongest strategy going forward, but I gotta compete with Justin, so we might have to go the Blackwing route. So we've added Sirocco and Blizzard to the lineup. All right, so back at the winner's wheel, this one is gonna be for Crimson Crisis first. Um, there wasn't too much I really missed from this set, if I'm being completely honest. I believe there's some synchros that I probably could have gotten, and I guess maybe Black Salvo would be cool to have two. I don't know. Let's just spin this wheel, see what we get, and then we'll move on to the next one. First wheel, hopefully it's something decent. Okay, super rare. Not bad. Let's see what we can get. All right. I'm not going to waste your time. I just flipped through it really quick. There are three super rares that are really amazing. Black Salvo, obviously, but we already have one and I just don't see myself playing it. So I'm going to probably pass on it. Arcanite Magician is a really great synchro and I would love to get it. So I'm probably going to go with that. The only other one I'd consider is Dark Strike Fighter, but I just checked the ban list and as of one whole episode, that card is already banned. So, I mean, we luckily get to play it at one. So that's cool, but... Yeah, it's already banned, so that's not coming off the list anytime soon, at least until the errata, so there's no reason for me to grab another one. So for that reason, I'm going to grab an Arcanite Magician. All right, Raging Battle. Uh, I'm going to give it a couple spins. I'm um, kind of hoping for Super on this wheel, if I'm honest, because the Synchro has a lot of good synergy with Bayou potentially this week. Eh, it doesn't matter. I guess we're getting Ultra. So I really want to grab Trident Dragon, but there's never going to really be a world that we can use it. So I don't think I'm going to grab it. Instead, I'm going to grab Power Tool Dragon. We have a couple of really insane equip spells in Snatch Deal and Premature Burial. So maybe there's a day that'll come up. I don't know. But yeah, I guess I'll grab this for now. Who knows? Maybe we'll use it in the future. Our first set of the week is Ancient Prophecy, and honestly, not the strongest set. A couple of nice X Sabers get introduced here, alongside Ancient Fairy Dragon, Gotham's uh, Fossil Dig is also in this set, but really, it's going to be kind of rough. I don't think there's anything here that's going to really change up the deck too much, unless we can get some X Saber tuners. Honestly, let's just hop into this one and see what we get. Starting off with the Fossil Dig, and not much else. Okay, we get an Earthbound Immortal, which is cool, but not the Ultra that I wanted. Um, Fishboard Blaster. Okay, we do get an X Saber, but it's not the one that I want. Okay, 24 packs of Ancient Prophecy. 
Hopefully it's good to us. Ancient Fairy would be really cool to bag, um, but really, I'm just looking for some of the low rarity stuff for other decks. Let's just open this real quick and we'll get after it. First pack. Um, <laughs> okay, here's some Koki Marrow support. Rekindling is actually a pretty good common. But there's a lot of low rarity stuff I'd like to get my hands on, so we'll see what happens. Oh, and here's some more Blackwing support here. It's a level two tuner. I don't know if I'd play it or not, but eh, maybe, I guess. I don't know. Ooh, okay, this one has, well, another Fossil Dig and Fishborg Blaster. Uh, this card obviously gets banned. It's a level one tuner that if I control a three or lower water monster, I can pitch a card and bring it back. Really, really good tuner card, especially when you use like Deloran and stuff, but we'll never get to abuse it in that way because we don't open those sets, but still a really cool tuner and I'd love to be able to abuse it. Ooh, okay, there's a Full Helm Knight. That's a pretty good one. Hopefully we can get like one or two more of those. That'd be kind of nice for the X Savers. We do get one of the black wings that is pretty nice to have. Oh, so we pulled doubles on them. That's cool. The Joker Poker Knight Fusion. Oh, we get a Jester Confit, which is actually really nice to have. Nice little extender. Oh, we pulled a playset. Cool. And then we pull a Flanville Dog. So uh, can we see some rekindlings? No. Oh, there it is. This pack's pretty stacked. We got the uh, Ancient Fairy Dragon, and we also got the Pseudo Space. So Ancient Fairy Dragon, obviously, is super banned right now. Hopefully, we can abuse this. This card is, well, super amazing. Searching field spells, gaining life. There are so many field spells in the game that are just broken. And another one that is broken right here is Pseudo Space. Basically, you can banish a copy of a field spell in the grave and Pseudo Space becomes that field spell for the turn. So there's definitely gonna be decks in the future that can abuse this. So pretty awesome. That was a good pack. Next, but what the? <laughs> two Ancient Fairy, that's, oh my God. Okay, I'm never gonna use two. I mean, okay, for right now, I guess, while my extra deck is like pretty empty, I guess I'll play two. I'm gonna for sure play this Ghost Rare first dead though, for sure, just so I can flex on Ricardo. All right, just a couple packs left here. Fossil Dig. We're gonna a couple packs. We do get the Gotham, so not bad, not bad. Uh, unfortunately, we do not pull the level three X Saber tuner. Uh, not the strongest opening. You know, a couple good things here. Um, we do get an Earthbound Immortal for whatever that's worth. We get the one Flambill Dog. Um, we we managed to pull a playset of uh, Vayu, which uh, could be pretty interesting. Uh, we do get a nice playset of Fishport Blaster, which could be really interesting actually. Um, playset of Dark Sea Float, a single Jester Confit, which is really good. Um, spell wise, I don't think there's much here. We do get a single rekindling. Um, we get a play set of fossil digs, which is really good. Uh, but in the extra deck, we do get a Gotham's. So honestly, that's pretty good. Like it's, it's a shame we couldn't get the lower three, but you know, we, we did get the next, uh, well, I, honestly, we got the better end of the deal in Gotham's. Not too bad for, for ancient prophecy. Oh, there's the Vayu. See, okay, this card's really good, but I don't know if I can abuse it because I don't have the level six synchro. So in order for me to get to Armor Master, I would have to play like a really bad level six Blackwing. And yeah, I just don't think I can. That's really unfortunate. Uh, I don't even know if it's playable without it, if I'm completely honest. No way, double Vayu, what the? I'm so upset that I don't have this level six synchro. That'd be so crazy. Ah, man. Last couple packs. That's a fourth pseudo space. That's crazy. And uh, it looked like nothing. All right, super stack pack. We got a set of rekindling, set of advanced draw, set of fossil dig. We got the two full helm knight, but we didn't get any full troll. I think it was like a super rare or something. So. Right off the bat, it looks like the X Saber Dream is dead for the future, which, you know, it was already very unlikely with how high rarity it is in the future, but it would have been nice to at least have my fingers crossed. Uh, we got the double Ancient Fairy and the double Vayu. Man, uh, I wish there was a way I could abuse this. I don't know, maybe there is. I have to do a little homework. Maybe I can think of something. Double Vayu sounds crazy, but again, I don't have the level six Synchro. Uh, oh well, let's, uh, let's open the next pack. And uh, who knows, maybe we get something even better. Our second set of the week is Stardust Overdrive. And again, not much here, but what is there is pretty solid. Quick Draw Synchron, Level Leader, and Gemini Spark are the ones that we want to hit more than anything. Um, 
terms of the synchro monsters in the set, there's really not much that can help us. I guess if we manage to pull the Majestic shoot Star Dragon, that'd be pretty cool. But honestly, I think our best bet is going to lie in pulling the Gemini Sparks for our Neos Alias. So here we go, pack number one. We get Crusader Vendimon, which is a Gemini, so it doesn't really do much for me. Mori of Greed, I guess those Fishboard Blasters have potential. Um, nothing much here. Uh, Ritual of Grace. And we do get a Quick Draw Synchron, who luckily for me is only a common. And also a Pointer of the Red Lotus, which is pretty pretty nice for the side deck. Another Quick Draw Synchron, so, you know, there are some options opening up for me now. We get our first Gemini Spark. Hopefully we get at least a playset. Um... We get a swap frog. All right, last opening was pretty good. Hopefully this one's just as good. Let's go ahead and flip it up. First pack, Ultimate Crusader of Endymion. Um, cool, I guess. $50 card. Next pack, ooh, the Maximus for the Kokimaros. Pretty cool, don't know if we'll ever use it. Uh, and there's Jin. that's super banned. Level Eater, another super banned card. Whoa, there's a second Maximus, that's pretty cool. Can I see another Gemini Spark though? That would be the ideal. We do get a Gateway of the Six. Uh, yeah, I do have quite the Six Sam collection. We do get Explosive Magician, uh, another Point of the Red Lotus. I would really like to see another Gemini Spark though. A third Quick Draw and a second Love Leader. There's a couple packs left here. Will I see another Gemini Spark? Will, will we open the option of Geminis? All right, coming up on the halfway point, we really haven't hit much. No Swap Frogs either. Oh, okay, here we go. At least one Swap Frog. So, pretty cool. Hopefully, we can hit two more. We got 12 more packs. Hey, okay. Very next pack, second Swap Frog. Definitely happy with that. We can make two work, but three would be perfect. Oh, there's some more Blackwing support, I guess. Uh, Silverwind the Ascended. I don't know if we can use this either. I mean, I guess technically we can make it. Hey, there's the third swap frog. Okay, this opening was a win. <laughs> it's just a common. Just a couple more packs here. Uh, okay, two packs left to go. We do get a second Gemini Spark. I think the path is kind of being set here, guys. Overall, not a bad pool. Um, nothing too fantastic. We do get a play set of quick draws. We get a play set of level eaters. We do get double Gemini Sparks. We get a play set of swap frogs. So, you know, we can continue in the, the Synchro department with Quick Draw and Junk Synchron and Love Leader. Now, they're all here. We do get the Gemini Spark, which is good because, again, we have double alias. Um, overall, things are looking pretty solid here. The Explosive Magician is pretty good. Um, anyways, it's time to build. Uh, this one should be pretty interesting, actually. Last couple packs. Hopefully, we hit something good. That is a useless Ultra Rare. I believe that's our third Gem Spark. I don't know if we'll ever use it, but, you know. Last pack, hopefully it's good. Nope, uh, completely nothing. Well, um, we got these two Maximuses. Uh, I don't know if we'd ever play that deck, honestly, but I guess it's cool we got them. Three Swap Frogs are definitely the highlight. The Appointers and the Stygian Dirges are also pretty good for the future. Got a couple Quick Draws, couple Level Eaters, um, but outside of that, nothing else really good. Um, yeah well okay we're gonna go to the workshop we're gonna try to craft up something pretty good this week the values definitely have my eye so i would love to play it if i can this week but again i'm missing that other synchro so i just don't know if i really can i'll see you guys at the deck builder peace well last week black wings and dark strike fighter proved their dominance and degeneracy over the game and while i couldn't really compete on the black wing front last week due to just the lack of cards in general this week, Gale is actually limited to one, meaning that I can probably play a pretty decent Blackwing deck this week. So, we're going for Degeneracy. That's the theme. Our, our tuner lineup is pretty small. It's just Gale, Plexper, and Mindmaster. We cut the Commanders, and we cut the Junk Synchrons. Uh, as much as I love those cards, they just don't really fit with the deck this week. Mindmaster is here despite Etelli being cut, just because it's a level 1 tuner, and it's a light target, meaning that it does feed into BLS. Our boss monsters return, you know, BLS, Dad, and Cyber Dragon. BLS, he doesn't have a lot of light targets this week, but the ones he does are searchable via Charge of the Light Brigade, or cards that I could pretty easily land into the grave with Cyber Dragon and the Mind Master. Of course, Mind Master is also searchable via one for one, so we do have a couple ways into our light targets. BLS, of course, just generally amazing monster. Dad's a little risky because of how many darks we play, but because we're playing darks in general, Dad has to be in the in the deck right now. 
Our Cyber Dragon is here for something we'll focus more on in the side deck, but of course, game one, it's a free 2k body, so have to run him. Soroko the Dawn makes his appearance as a level 5 Blackwing monster. Um, not the most ideal, but honestly, it's just an easy level 5, and of course, we have not only Gale making level quick level 8, but we also have Blizzard making a quick level 7, which is the Black Forest, which is pretty much everything in the deck, including Dad, double Boras and double Shuras. Um, I wanted to run triple Shuras, but I couldn't really justify cutting any of the monsters. Uh, deck space is already tight, we're already running a low tuner count, so you know, I just feel like Shura should be at 2 because I'm really only wanting to search the Gale and the Kalutes. Uh, we're playing double Kalutes because we have so many Blackwing monsters and you saw what a threat one Kalut was last week. Next up we got Sangan because it searches whatever Witch doesn't. We got Blizzard because, well, my Blackwings are going to hit the grave one way or the other and Blizzard is a free reborn and then a quick synchro. We got double Rikos because one, it pops back row, two, it's a searchable light target and it just thins out the deck in general. And next up is, well, one of the deck's win conditions, Magical Scientist. Like I said, degeneracy is the theme this week. Last week we saw Dark Strike Fighter come out and just win the game at the end, but of course, Magical Science can very easily fill the board with bodies, and well, that's pretty much the main goal of the deck, is that we're gonna rush into Dark Strike Fighter and Magical Scientist and just win in one turn. We got Alert Darkness because of course we're playing so many darks that it's a pretty much guaranteed free draw. Graceful Charity, Painful Choice, you've seen what these cards can do, but of course Painful Choice has a couple different reasons for being in the deck this week, which I'll explain once I get into the side deck. Charge of the Light Brigade because of course we search our Rikos and mill the deck. One for one because it's the fastest way into Magical Scientist, as well as our Mind Master if necessary. Rageki, Heavy, Trunade, and MST are all here for Monster Hate and Back Row Hate. Last week we saw the Danger of Oil Oppression, so I had to stack on the Back Row Hate. Of course, Rageki does run the Fear of Running to start his Dragon, but I think I have a pretty good chance of playing around that. Next up we got Double Black Roll because again, we're playing Black Wings, it's pretty essential to be able to search our monsters out. Reborn and Premature in case I have to use the Magical Science for something, or of course to recycle something like the Gale, or honestly even you know our BLS, or just our Synchro Monsters in general. Premature, same thing, and of course we're running Trunade, so the two combo off each other. Unfortunately, uh, the biggest change of the deck is that we have one soul in Judgment, it is now on the limited list, and that's that's going to be rough, but we have to make do with the rest of our traps. So we're adding a Divine Wrath once again, because of course Justin now has a Stardust Dragon, and well it's just a dangerous time to have effect monsters in general so divine wrath is here to make sure that whatever happens i'm protected from justin's effect we're running double bottomless compulse double Icarus attack because of course we're running the black wings and well it's a nice little exchange here and the mirror force just in case um mirror force is probably the hardest card to add to the deck just because i wasn't sure if it was the way to go but i think that after the side deck was made mirror force was probably the right choice to put in as for our side deck, we've got Royal Oppression because you saw the damage it did last week, and of course, I should just have my own in general. Overload Fusion, Future Fusion, Chimera Tech, and the Triple Fusiliers make their return this week alongside the Skill Drain Package because, well, I might need to get beaters out, but more importantly, I want a deck thin. And because of Magical Scientist, if Dark Strike Fighter fails, I'm going to be loading up on machine monsters here, so Overload will get a nice buff out Chimera Tech onto the field. Um, of course, this is all very situational, and it really just depends on whether or not the Dark Strike Fighter situation works out for me or not. Um, we got Triple Shadow Prisoning Mirror because, again, Black Wings, Double Royal Decree because I'm afraid of the oppression, and just in case, a card that will slow us both down a little bit, Macro Cosmos. As for the extra deck, we've got Magical Android, Gaia the Force of the Earth, Iron Chain, Goyo, Black Rose, the Wind Condition himself, Dark Strike Fighter, Colossal Fighter, Stardust, and then a plethora of fusion monsters. Pretty much just here to be bodies for Dark Strike Fighter to just tribute and OTK. Um, if I win or if I lose, I am retiring Dark Strike Fighter and Magical Scientist after this week because I feel horrible for playing them, but it's kind of a feel of your week, so why not have a little bit of fun? Okay guys, once again we're bringing Blackwing, but I decided to kind of put a little twist on it. We lost to Gale, so our access to level 7s are a little bit weaker, and we gained a lot of level 7s this week, so... Is this the most optimal build? No, probably not. But, you know, I thought, heck, let's have some fun and let's try to get some of these funny plays off. And if it works out, 
it could be really broken. So for the Blackwing lineup, all the same. Three Sirocco, three Bora, three Shura, three Kalut, and now one Gale, because, well, the ban list put it at one. We got the one Blizzard. Obviously, we only pulled the one. And then the last two monsters I added was the one Krebons and one Psychic Commander. This obviously partners with our Teleport that we pulled a while back. Just another way to get a level two or a level three tuner on the field. Krebrons, if I draw it, I can always allure it, or it even stalls a little bit while it's on the field, negating attacks. And Psychic Commander is kind of the worst of the bunch, so I don't know. We'll see how it goes. For the spells, like I said, we have the Teleport, Double Allure, Triple, Black Whirlwind, Graceful Charity, Raigeki, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, True Nade, Monster Reborn, Change of Heart, and we have three equipped spells in the deck with Premature Burial, Snatch Steel, and united we stand now the only reason we're playing this is because of power tool dragon essentially if we make this we can reveal three equip spells one gets randomly picked and added to your hand so essentially this could search a reborn or a snatch deal so it's pretty crazy and worst case if it hits united we stand we get a pretty big beefy monster especially if i have more monsters on the field united and the two psychic monsters are kind of the more bricky aspect of the deck but you know i wanted to try this out have some fun try to abuse the power tool since we have it we also have double ancient fairy so that's pretty cool and really the deck is pretty much the same i think i added a third crow in the side uh we still got the mole and the snowman and we got double my body mst delta crow two light mirror two Two mind crush and the one trap death shoot all in all this is the variant i'm bringing this week again is it optimized no can it do some pretty cool plays i think so so we're gonna hit up ricardo see how well this does next week there's definitely a lot of cards i want to get my hands on for the deck that i'm trying to build so hopefully we get away with another win ricardo's waiting on me right now it's time to rev it up Ricardo, we're back again for another episode, dude. Are you yeah. ready? Yeah, you know, this week was kind of a... Uh, I feel like these are pretty lackluster sets, so it's just a matter of figuring out what's uh, had the most fun with this week. Right, right, because I know for me, there was a lot of low-rarity stuff that I thought was, like, really cool for, like, yeah. future decks, but, like, right now, there's nothing that's going to, like, change what our meta is for the most yeah. part. Um, there's definitely some of the decks that got some hits, I know Solemn Judgment's at one now, so yeah, that's pretty cool, at least for me, because I only tragedy. have the one. But uh, And then I also lost two Gale. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I went to the drawing board. I was really scratching my head what they could do. I had so many cards that I wanted to use this week, and I really... I don't know. I don't want to spoil anything, but there was a lot of cool options on the table, and I just fell back on what I got here. Yeah. All right, man. Let's do the uh, rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. Hey, Ooh. all right. We're going to start off going first. All right. Start off strong. Let's go. All right. Draw for turn. Main phase one. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, you're going to see what I'm still on. Uh, normal summon with the black whirlwind. Yeah. Effect to search. Yeah, you're good. It's crazy. I think I started with this exact combo the last game hmm. and then I'm going to set one and pass alright here we go draw hmm <laughs> back row is pretty scary but I think I got the out here I'm going to go with painful choice ooh okay and I think you'll see what I'm on so I'm going to go ahead and send a Sirocco Oh, <laughs> a Bora, a Raiko, a Sangan, and as the fifth card, I feel like I gotta just go ahead and send the Mind Master. Okay, I think I'm gonna give you that Mind Master. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so I guess the question is, do you have the Icarus attack? Maybe. I have three darks in grave, so I will special summon <laughs> Dark Arm Dragon. So I don't have Icarus, but I do have, like I said, the same starting combo as last match, Royal Oppression. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh, this card is crazy. I guess all I can really do here is set one, set one, and pass. 
<laughs> All right, starting turn. Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Hmm. Okay, let me think here. Yeah. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna enter the battle. Yeah. And I don't want to get too greedy, so I'm just gonna attack your set monster and see what it is. Yes. Oh, okay, it's just the mind master. Okay, main phase two. I think I'm just gonna pass. All right, draw. All I can really do right now is set and pass. Man, that mm. oppression is <laughs> such a pain in the ass. I know, it's a crazy card, right? Okay, let's see here. Let me uh, let me do some math here. I don't know what your back row is, but uh, yeah, I can do some stuff this turn. <laughs> okay, we're gonna enter the main phase one. Yeah. I'm gonna activate Giant True Nade. Hmm. It's a pretty crazy card. I think I have to Solomon? activate Solomon. <laughs> mm. Oh man. Okay. So that back row has to be something that you feel pretty confident about because you knew I did some math right now, trying to see if I could calculate something. So I know you're debating whether or not I have a game shot. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> heavy storm. Oh, damn. Mm, okay. Well, <laughs> I had uh, some pretty flashy things I was going to do, but now that you paid half that life, yeah. you're going to go to battle. You are going to believe. That's game. Man, I'll tell you about this after, after we finish up the set, because, man, this opening hand was so good, and then oppression... Damn. <laughs> uh. I believe it. Okay. Black wings, huh? Right. Little chaos engine. Yeah. Let's see what gotta, you're doing. Gotta take first here. Oh man. I'm I'm so salty about that game one. Here we go. <laughs> Opening draw. Alright. Um hmm. what to do about this? I think on this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and set one and pass. Hmm. All right, starting turn. <sighs> well, I think I too will set one monster and I actually think I'll set a back row as well. Hmm. I'll pass. Draw. All right, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and take the risk here and I'm gonna flip summon Raikou to pop the back row. Mm, yeah, I had a feeling it could be that. I was kind of hoping it wasn't. But hey, Ooh, wow. those that are some. One uh, does hurt. <laughs> those are some good cards. I'll take that. I'll trade a judgment for those. Let me think about this. Hmm. Okay, not the flashiest way to do it. I will tribute Raiko to normal summon <laughs> Cyber Dragon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And then I'm just going to have to banish both Dark Armed and Raikou yeah. to summon BLS. He returns. It's a lot of damage. And I don't think... Hmm. You haven't run Raikos before. You could have pulled Snowman Eaters. Hmm. You know what? I just got to go for it here. I'm going to go ahead and have BLS attack the face down. All right. Well, <laughs> get punished, man. Yeah. Snowman eater. <laughs> I was like funny. biting my lip just now when you were talking. I'm like trying not to laugh when you mentioned <laughs> snowman eater. <laughs> and I'll have cyber dragon attack for 21 direct. All right. And yeah, I think... I think I'll just pass on the Cyber Dragon. All right, starting turn. All right, sweet. We'll activate the Whirlwind that I've had for a sec. Mm -hmm. And we will once again normal summon a Bora. Yeah. Whirlwind effect to search. Let me see that Kalut. This time, I think what I'm going to do is add the one oh. of Gale to hand. <clears throat> I'll special the Gale and activate its effect to have the Cyber Dragon's attack. Yeah, so 1050? Yeah. 
Um, let's see. I think after that we will go to battle. Yeah. Swing with Bora. Right, so that's six fifty. And thirteen. All right. Main phase two. I am going to synchro summon seven. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to make armor master. Mm. And with that, I'm going to pass the turn. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pay 800 life points. Okay. And I will special summon BLS. Yep. And then I will banish the Armor Master. Yep. And then I will activate Monster Reborn. Oh. And no. I will take your Gale. <laughs> All right. And then... I will normal summon Witch of the Black Forest. Oh, uh, yeah. And I'm going to go ahead and sink seven. Yep, I already know what's happening. <laughs> I'm not sure if you do quite yet. Because Witch will go ahead and search me, my good buddy, Plague Spreader. But now I will activate one for one and send Plague to Grave to special summon what should be the game ender here magical scientist <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's been a while since we played with this <laughs> wow all right let's go to battle and i'll poke for the 29 main phase two i'll pay 2k to special summon <laughs> robo yaru and super robo lady <laughs> and then i will go ahead and dark strike fighter away the robos yep <laughs> <laughs> game one way to get it <laughs> game one so game one i drew one for one i drew plague that was game i had i could one for one the scientist bring back plague summon a cybersaurus and that was the OTK, and then Royal Oppression happened, and I just had to sit there and be mad. All right, game three. <laughs> I gotta go first. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, draw. Yeah. Game phase one. Interesting. Um, okay. I will go ahead and set one card and pass the turn. All right, draw. Let me just check something out real quick. Okay, um, I'm gonna start out with Giant Trunade. Ooh, okay, yep. Put this to hand. And then I'm gonna follow up with Future Fusion. Okay. So the I'm gonna go playing? ahead and <laughs> reveal the Chimera Tech. All right. And then I'll send one, two, three, four machines to the grave. And I'm gonna go ahead and follow that up with an overload fusion. Okay. So we get out the Chimera Tech. Blow up I'm the field. confused, what the heck's happening? <laughs> and then I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon Shura special summon gale what the heck let's go to the battle phase attack oh for 13 God. no way 18 <laughs> 32 main phase 2 oh, i okay. will 6 7 <laughs> 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 and special summon the strike why are you playing chimera tech dude why on earth are you playing this <laughs> <laughs> so i cited in the skill drains <laughs> oh my god uh, because of course the extra deck was full of machines because of magical scientist skill drain was there because of course we're sitting on you know black wings and kalut so uh, <laughs> i can't what believe you pulled that off girl. that's sickening <laughs> oh man yeah dark strike uh, fighter is definitely a crazy synchro that's for sure this is back-to-back uh, -back matches now that it's decided yeah. game and especially right now with blackwing having yeah. easy access to level sevens it's pretty crazy i My think wheel. the thing i'm most upset about is you open you a hard open what 
four one ofs. Literally four <laughs> one ofs. The one of Gale, one future fusion, <laughs> the one of Overload, and the one True Nade, and a Blackwing. Yeah. <laughs> to go. Oh my God! You, you're literally game, the best, man, bro. You missed it. Game one, it was it was Plague. It was one for one. That was the combo right there. It was over. But then Royal Oppression stopped me. I was so yeah. I was so butthurt. Oh, but I didn't think this this stupid oh, OTK deck would win. But man. It, yeah, it uh, well, <laughs> my deck list is pretty much the same as last week, except, well, I, I cited it out in this game because I wanted to set up as much back row and interruption turn one. Mm -hmm. uh, I did, I guess it didn't matter because of the true nade, but um, I actually played a teleport package. I'm guessing mm -hmm. you did too. I played a Krebons. Uh, I had a. The, the first turn when you judgmented, the first game, when you uh, solemn yeah. judgmented, I had a way to go for game also with Dark Strike Fighter, even if mm. you didn't judgment. So I would have bounced everything with True Nade, and then I would have summoned my Psychic Commander. I would have been able to poke with Commander, poke with Bora, damage step Kalute, and then it would have put you within range after I went Emergency Teleport in battle. Poke with Krabons, and then Main Phase 2, Commander, and Bora into Dark Strike Fighter for mm. game. But... Uh, you yeah. judgment in it, so I didn't even have to use Dark Strike Fighter. But it's crazy because that if you didn't judgment, Dark Strike Fighter would have won that game, and then obviously Dark Strike Fighter just won those two games. <laughs> oh uh. god, it's crazy! <laughs> it, it's funny. I met, I touched on it a little bit, and uh, I mentioned it that Dark Strike Fighter it, from last episode to this point is already banned. Like that's how yeah. quick it got banned. Yeah, it's it was, crazy. It's too good. And yeah. They eroded it, so now it's once per turn, I think. It's only main phase one. Yeah, and I mean, he still could be like a cowboy for game kind of thing with the errata, yeah. but it's not like, yeah, it's not like what it really used to be. <laughs> it's crazy. I will show you this. So the wheel was pretty decent, I guess, for me. Um, I wound up getting a power tool dragon. Ooh. And so, again, I cited this little engine out going into this game. But in addition to the sidekicks, I added a United We Stand. So that way mm. I had three equip spells to essentially search Premature mm. Burial and uh, Snatch Steel. So mm. I also hit this guy here, the Silverwind. And this guy is impossible mm. to make unless you have Vayu, right? And yeah. I've opened double Vayu. The only problem is I don't have the level six synchro for the Black Wings, and that's like essential for any mm. of the Vayu turbo stuff. So there's like no way. I was thinking if I, I I even went back and there's a level six that's in the the main deck, but it was an mm. ultra rare, and I didn't pull it in Raging Battle, so I couldn't even play that. So even with double ultimate rare Vayu, I could literally do nothing with it. I wanted to play it so bad. I could have played Armageddon Knight, painful choice, all these ways to just like dump all these black wings, get it set up. Uh, I even have the armor master, but yeah, just there's like, there was no way. Um, also, my opening came with an ultra rare ancient fairy dragon. And then Damn. it also came with a ghost rare ancient fairy dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I mean, they're in the extra. I don't think I'll ever really see a time I need to, but uh, I mean, while I have the room, the extra deck, I guess I'll, uh, guess I'll play it. And then the wheel also gave me a super rare Arcanite Magician. There, but, there was you know. actually there was one good card that I pulled this week, but it didn't see play because you know the deck didn't really call for it. I pulled the Gotham's. Oh, yeah, you and know what? I totally forgot about the X-Sabers until I saw, like, I think it was Fultural or something like that. No, yeah, I, it was uh, the level 3 tuner. Yeah, once yeah. I started seeing the X-Saber support popping up, I was like, oh, I forgot about this deck. But then I yeah. remembered, like, all the good stuff is, like, super high rarity. Yeah, I so I actually pulled the set of values. I pulled the set, and I have oh, zero wow. Blackwing Synchros to work with. So <laughs> I, I was just like, what, what am I supposed to do with this? And then <laughs> I pulled a bunch of uh, X Sabres, but not the level three tuner. So uh, there was no point there. Uh, I feel like I got so many good cards and then no real way to actually use them. Right. So this week was just kind of a bust. And you know, I figured, all right, well, I'm going to, I forgot Magical Scientist was, you know, legal in our format for the longest time. And I realized, 
oh, I have one for one, and Dark Strike Fighter is <laughs> legal, so let's just go yeah. for it. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. I uh, sickening, <laughs> sickening. <laughs> Oh, well, this episode was a lot of fun. A lot of craziness. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but even though I lost, I had a blast. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully we see you guys next week. Peace.